Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu alayhi wa salamu alaykum. We are at Chilorah High School. Give me back Australia. Ah, more than excited here, Brother Ibrahim. We're at Chilorah Public School. They've contacted the team Give You Back Australia and they want to help. Now the program that they want to help with is Food Run. The reason why I've asked you to come in today, Ibrahim, is you've been on the Food Run with me. Yes. Just before we start on how these kids are going to help, if you could be nice and loud for the camera, I want you to share some experiences with these children when you've come on the Food Run, who we help and what you actually witnessed. Well, who we help is everybody, doesn't matter your race, your colour, your creed, doesn't matter who you are, um, we help. Um, we've had families like, um, pull up our families, we have uh, sons and daughters and wives standing at the front door, waiting in the rain. What are they waiting for, Brian? They're waiting to eat, they're waiting for food. And a lot of people don't realise that a lot of people these days uh, doing it very hard. Um, what they're getting from, um, from uh, government support and everything these days, it's not enough. Just enough to pay the rent. Ibrahim, can you tell the children about that young boy that you said you'll never forget at seven o'clock in the morning, standing barefooted in the rain, waiting to eat? Oh, well, we, we pulled up at a house um, and it was, we gave the mother a call and we said um, we're on our way. And they said, we said there's someone already at the front waiting for you. And we, we pulled up at the house and there was a young boy about six or seven years old standing there, barefoot, with a singlet on and very short in the rain. Waiting for his food. Thank you very much, Ibrahim. Now, you heard that, uh, boys and girls? Little children that don't have food to eat. There could be a number of reasons why. Who can tell me, put your hands up, why someone could be struggling without food? What's your name? Zane. Zane. Why no, could people be. Because they don't have food. That's what we. Because they're poor. What's another reason, guys? Yep. Maybe they cannot afford anything to eat. That's a really good answer. Maybe they can afford, they can't afford to buy food. Is there any other reasons, guys? No. Okay, I'm going to share some with you. What if, let's say, you know, a lot of us have fathers that go out and work, or mothers that go out and work. It might be a single mother or a single father trying to raise their children. What happens if that person falls sick and they can't go to work? There'll be no money to pay for food, yeah? Very good answer. You guys are really smart. Yes, sir. Uh, it'd be, um, that, that means uh, they're sick and they can't go to work, they can't get any money, and they won't be able to buy you the food and your clothes and pay the rent. Yep, so what give you back, yep? Uh, maybe if they're sick, they can't even pay to get money. Maybe if they're sick, they can't even pay for their medicine. I can tell you right now, there is a lot of them. So give him back Australia is a non-for-profit organisation. Does anybody know what that means? Yep. It doesn't cost money. It means that we're a charity. We, we support anybody, as Ibrahim said, regardless of colour, race or religion. Why? Because we live in the best country in the world. Who knows what that country's called? Australia! Absolutely. And in this country, we're taught to love each other, respect each other, and support each other, regardless of where we're from. Is that what they teach you at this school? Yes. Beautiful. So together, you guys are gonna help us. And you're gonna help us with one of our programs. What's that program called, Ibrahim? Um, the um, Food Run Program. Food Run Program. We almost got him off guard, yeah? yeah. <coughs> so it's called the Food Run Program. What the Food Run Program does, is we have a van. And this van is like a mobile Woolworths. So imagine Woolworths on wheels. And we go to people's houses. This could be homeless people, blind people, disabled people, people dying with cancer, children with no mother or father, um, people who are actually living out of their cars, people who have just come out of hospital, and we go to people who are mentally ill as well. So people that are suffering with depression, suicide, anxiety, low self-esteem, even bullying. And we believe that giving back Australia on that note, bullying is something that we see 
that are very passionate about the FIF. We don't believe in bullying and we don't like anyone bullying and it starts at this age. Because we go to people's houses that are 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old and because they've been bullied their whole life, they've got mental illnesses where they're too afraid to leave their own homes. Hands up if you don't like to be bullied. Well done kids. And you guys are part of the SRC, so on that note, I feel that it's very important that you guys, when you're in the playground, to pay attention. If anybody is getting bullied, it's important that we do something about it, right? So, how are you going to help? Here's the million dollar question. First, we are going to come to your school assembly. Your awesome, awesome teacher to my right, who doesn't want to be on camera, is going to organise a microphone all the school to be there. You guys are all going to stand behind me, so you're going to become part of our team, right? Yeah. And I'm going to tell the school who we are and how the school is going to help. Then it's up to you guys when I leave to make sure every class has got a plastic tub so all the children can go home, they can take a letter from the school, letting them know what items they can bring. Ibrahim, what are some of these items? Uh, some of the items are uh, mostly it's um, food that can be stored. So non perishable goods? Non perishable goods. So like? Baked beans, tomato sauce, um, uh, cereals, um, even uh, dishwashing liquids, um, shampoos, conditioners, toilet paper, toilet paper like anything like that. Like anything that's, that's non perishable. So, non perishable means something that doesn't need to go in the fridge. Yeah. Right? You know how mum and dad have got a pantry at home and things are in the pantry? Now, these things will cost anywhere between 50 cents and maybe a dollar. But if every person in the school bought one item, the ones that can afford it might bring two items, you're going to be out of pocket one or two dollars. But imagine how many kids at this school combined, think about how many people you can help and make a difference with. Then, once you guys pump all the school, you get them excited, all the food comes, Ibrahim and I will bring the van to the school. All the children will be able to see the van. Then the SRC will go around to all the classes, pick up the tubs, and help us load the tubs into the van. This is where it gets exciting for the SRC. Then we will invite you to our warehouse on another day. Your teacher will bring you to Shalora, around the we're literally 200 metres down the street. You will come to our warehouse and you will have a very, very important job. That job is to reduce food waste. Stay, 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 That's okay, we'll keep going. Sounds like you're going to have to. When you come to our warehouse, you guys got to pack the food on the shelves. But who can tell me what's important to look for when we're putting food on the shelf. There's a date on there. What is that date? Expiry date. What's the expiry date for? Now for the ones that are watching, that's the bell I believe, telling the kids to go back to class. Okay, so you guys will come to our warehouse and you will pack that food onto the shelves. But you've got a more important job. When you put the food on the shelf, I want you to check the food that's already on the shelves and check if that's expired. If it is, so we can get rid of it and not deliver it to these families. Then, we will come back to the school and we will do a big presentation to the school with you guys, telling all the kids how many items they brought and how many families they were able to help. Now listening to all that, hands up if you're excited. Hands up if you want to help. Wow, amazing. Yeah, but I hear. Who's got a question? Yes, sir. I love to corn. Corn? What did he say? Uh, this is, um, in the can. Yes. Yeah, can yep, corn. absolutely. You can bring canned corn. Who else has got a question? I know you had a question before. Forgot? Anyone else? Yes? When do we start? When do we start? That's a million dollar question. We have to respect the school. I know 
um, Aisha for giving back Australia and your teacher are working very hard together and you're going to book a day for us to come to your next assembly. So when we come to the next assembly, that's when it's going to start and then the teacher uh, will put in the dates and you all work really hard. Now, you guys play an important role. We want you to get really excited and get the whole school really, really excited. Now, we had a school called Akana College. And Akana College has less than 200 students, I believe. They donated over 5,000 items. And these items now are still being distributed. It sounds like a big number, but it's so easy. You don't even have to go buy something. If your mum and dad can't afford it, then you can ask him for something from their pantry at home and you can bring that in. Do we all understand what our job is? Yes! Are we going to help make a difference? Yes! Ibrahim, any last words? Um, well, everything is due, everything is uh, donated to charity. Just know that um, it's feeding someone, someone in need, someone that doesn't have what you have. Actually, Ibrahim, I don't want to interrupt you, but you had to come to the warehouse two days ago. Yes. Why did you have to come to the warehouse? Because I got a, um, a message from someone that... Um, an Australian man in Redfern? In Redfern, yes. He messaged me and said to me, um, but I'm hungry. I need him in a few days. Um, I went and give him back Australia, Shav, and I said to him, brother, I've got a brother in need. He said to me, here's the key. Go down to the warehouse and do his shopping for you. What were you able to give the brother? Um, a four months of shopping. And he had no food? Nothing. He walked into his house, opened his fridge, and there was a cup of water in his fridge. And do you want to hear something really scary? Don't ever assume it's only the homeless. This man that Ibrahim helped, we can't tell you who he is, but he's a school teacher. Yes, he was a, he's a school teacher. So just to show you that being poor doesn't discriminate. Yes. Anybody can be poor and anybody go through, can go through some bad luck. So now, this is Shalora Public School's chance to show the world. Because we've got people from all over the world that watch what we do. And you guys can lead by example so the next school can come on board. It's your chance to show the world how generous and how giving and how much Shalora Public School wants to make a difference. So I'm going to ask you, and last time I want it really loud, does Shalora Public School want to help? Yes! I'm excited. Are you excited, Ibrahim? I'm excited. We're ready to go. Dates are going to be set. It will be on our Facebook page for our followers. Kids from Chalora Public School, do watch our videos, put your kind words of support, motive, motive, motivating, I should say, these amazing little superstars. Peace be upon you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.